This is a Micro 810 PLC. In this video, we're going to learn how to display an integer value on the liquid quartz display. Before we get started, let's take a quick look at how this PLC is wired into the circuit. There is a selector switch. You could think of this as a manual off auto switch. There is a push button which will operate in the manual mode. And there's a light which will turn on when you're in auto. For this particular machine, we define a cycle as turning this relay on and then off. So if you are in manual mode and you push the button here, the machine will cycle once. You release the button, and push again, it'll cycle again. If you're in auto, the machine will cycle. Two seconds on, one second off. Let's take a closer look at that display. Here's the selector switch, currently in off. Now it's in manual. Or, if we go the other direction, now we're in auto mode. You can see that the number of cycles is incrementing. Or, if we're in manual, when I push the button, you can see that the number of cycles also increments. To understand how that display works, we first need to look at the program organizational units. There are three for this particular program, including program in map, program out map, and program control. This is program in map, and you can see that it maps the screw terminal I.O. to global variables. In this case, switch for manual, switch for auto, and a push button for cycle. If we're in manual, that's the switch to the left. We see that we're in manual. You'll also see, or the display will show you manual as well. We'll get to that in a minute. The switch is in off position, and now the switch is in auto. If the push button is held, of course, that third rung will light up. This is program out map. Here, we're mapping global variables to screw terminal I.O. Here, we have global boolean K1, which is what we defined as cycle for this particular machine. It's the relay to the side I showed you. And then there's a panel lamp for green. So if we go to auto, you should see both of those activate. With the first one being the K1 rung turning on and off. This is the control program. On the first rung, if the switch is in auto, the panel lamp turns on. The second rung is responsible for that cycle timing for two seconds on, one second off. Rung three controls the relay. If we are in manual mode and the push button is selected, the relay will light up. Or, if we are in auto mode, the timing sequence from rung 2 will toggle the relay on and off. Rung 4 is the code you've been waiting for. This is the first line of our LCD routine. Here, line 4 is used to clear some memory buffers. You'll notice there are four move commands. Each move is moving a empty character string into a line buffer. Line one buffer, line two buffer, line three buffer, and way back here is line four buffer. If we look at the local variables, you can see these are set to type string. And it turns out there are actually five. There's four buffers, one for each line in the LCD, 
And then there's also one here that I've called string buffer. So hold that thought. We're going to come back to it. Moving back to program control, remember that the first thing we do in our LCD operation is clear all of these type string line buffers. After that, we can start putting something in them. For example, on line number five, we move the string machine status to string line buffer number one. Notice that we're using single quotes. And you can see that here as line number one, machine status. The next line of text is constructed on rungs six, seven, and eight, and it's based on the status of the manual off auto switch. Here, the switch is in the off position, which means it's not in manual and it's not in auto. The text off, correction, the text space off. So if you look here, you can see there's a one character space before you see the word off. Now, if we put it in manual, we're now on rung seven. So you see space manual. And if we move it to auto, we should see rung number eight light up with space auto being the text that's held in this line two buffer. To display this last line that says cycles equals, and then to have a number that would increment like so, takes a couple lines of code. On rung nine, this is that relay. Remember the one that turns on and off every time the machine cycles? So when that relay turns on, we send a pulse to this adder. This is a read, modify, write operation. So we take this integer count, right? This integer count, we add one to it, and then we store it back in integer count. Remember, we read, we modify, we write. On the next rung, we take an any to string block, we take this type integer count and convert it into a character string. So it's held in our string buffer. And now we have to combine our number, which is held in a string, with the words space cycles. And that's done with this insert block. So there are two inputs, there's two character strings here, and then there's this last um, input which tells us how many positions to move over. So if you count really carefully, space, C-Y-C-L-E-S, space equals space, you'll find that the next position is position number 11. And that's where we start our string buffer, which then gives us this as an output. So space cycles, space equals space, and then at position 11, we start string buffer. The final rung in this ladder is the LCD display function itself. Notice that it takes four inputs where each input is a string of characters and it updates the LCD. So if we look at that whole operation again, on rung four, we cleared all of our string buffers. We then spent some time building each string buffer independently. So here's the first line that says machine status, the second line which says off, the third line which is building up our count, and the fourth line, well it's empty because one of the things we did is up here in this move block we cleared it, so it's empty. And uh, when we got here to rung 11, it updates the LCD.
That's all for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment down below if there's any particular topics you would like to see in the future.